Okay, hello, Simon is speaking. Today I would like to talk to you how you can speed up rendering in V-Ray and how to make dark corners on the wall. One of the images I rendered in five minutes is called the TV on the wall. As you can see, I have a little bit of noise. I lower the uh, it little bit, not too much because render would take up to 30 minutes, but this uh, image was rendering, was being rendered only 5 minutes. I had ambient occlusion, global illumination and lights uh, inside, but it didn't take too long. What you have to do? to enable ambient occlusion in V-Ray. I think you have to go to GI, Global Illumination, Ambient Occlusion. These are my settings. Uh, another thing in V-Ray, you have to focus on one specific area. Noise threshold, when you use settings like this, you will have good enough render. Try to lower to that value. Don't make it lower than that because your render time will be much bigger. Use bucket type rendering. Also in GI I used multiplier like this. Uh, what about lights? Uh, multiplier is like this. I have another like which is here. And you also need to pay attention on this important. Oh, this like seems to be in wrong place. I have to hook this here because I had two bright area here. Also consider one thing you have to include your all of your objects here if you want it to render if you want objects uh, to cast shadows they have to include they have to be included in side of your light uh, value of my Intensity multiplier of sun is 0, 0, 0.012. Please remember about what I told you in V-Ray settings. Shagging uh, rate I didn't catch. Don't catch this. Focus on what I showed you. Where I lost this. Noise threshold is important. Don't change anything else, leave settings as it is, because uh, lower values will make uh, noise almost in, in, invisible. If you got AMD Ryzen 200, uh, 2700X, you can lower value as much as possible because AMD FX rise AMD rising to 2700 is much faster. I don't use that CPU. I still use AMD FX 8370. But your ambient occlusion will make your corners dark and everything will be for example, you have stairs inside in of the building. I, I will show you. Everything is better. Everything seems to be visible when you look. Uh, I can see some uh, grain. Don't worry about this because it will take too much time for render. I have to finish my video tutorial because I will be ready to sleep. Please consider also low frag priority because this will help you to render but without delaying your computer. If you or if you use the option 
progressive don't use progressive because when you use progressive you have to change global DMC it will slow down your you see your render will flicker when you use progressive rendering also switch to expert because you can see some extra additional settings that's the most important thing what you have to focus and you could also you could also add very denoiser but the denoiser does the job but it doesn't do the job as this one here subdivision multi no not this one noise threshold subdivision multiplier is to do with progressive rendering also when you uh, when you consider lights in the scene make sure invisible option is on because you will see if this is off you will see big uh, white object here which you don't want to have if you use this option on you you won't see any white objects but only lights will cast shadows but not white object in the scene otherwise if you untick this white object will appear in a render time which you don't want to see okay now i hope this video tutorial will help you a lot